This is Math 99. We're going to look at section 11.2. And in 11.2, we're dealing with bigger systems. So uh, we could call this a 3 by 4 system. Uh, it has three variables, and it has, uh, I'm sorry, it has three equations, and it has four things going on, three variables, and then a solution. So notice there's like x's, y's, z's, and solutions. So there's our four, and our three is that we have three rows, um, yeah, three rows or three equations. So just looking at this, I have x, y, and z values, and I'm proposing that the solution to this system is the triple, the ordered triple, 3, negative 2, 1. And these come in the form x, y, z, alphabetical order. So this is saying x is 3 when y is negative 2 and when z is 1. That should be the solution to all three of these equations. And if I plug them in, uh, let's see, plug it into that first equation. Uh, yeah, that one works. Plug it into the second equation, 6 times x minus 4 times y plus 5 times z. Does that, in fact, equal 3? Let's see, 18 plus 9 plus 5. That does not equal 3. So this would not be a solution to this system. What I'm trying to do is uh, use an ordered triple, a triplet, that makes all three of these equations true at the same time. Even though it works in the first one, it doesn't work in the second one, so this would not be a solution to that. So how do I find these solutions? All right, let's talk strategy. Well, one thing I want to notice is I could have a system that looks like this. And if my system looks something like this, it's actually pretty easy to solve. Notice that like this line right I have zero y's and zero x's in this third uh, row. And so notice this just tells me that z is negative 2. And if I know that z is negative 2, I can plug it into this second equation and figure out what y is, zero x's. And then if I know what y and z is, I can check them, I can plug them both into here and figure out what x is. So here's what I know. z is negative 2. So let's plug it into that second equation. Uh, y plus negative 2 equals negative 1. Add 2 to both sides. y equals 1. I plug both those in. 1 plus negative 2. Uh, let's see. 1. This would be negative 1 plus... I'm sorry. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. So x would be 5. So that triplet right there is the solution to this system. But here's the thing, systems don't always come to me in this form. They're actually usually going to come to me in kind of this form, where I've got these three different equations, um, and it, I can't just do this back substituting. I don't have things solved. I don't have things isolated like I did in that previous example, where I knew what z was, and I could plug it in and get y. So what I'm going to do is manipulate this to make it happen, and I'm going to use that uh, that those addition um, and elimination methods that I've used before. So there's lots of approaches. I'm going to suggest one right now. And so the the approach I'm going to suggest here is I'm going to keep this top one as it is, and I'm going to just get rid of the x's in, in both of these second equations by combining them with that first equation. So one thing I want you to notice, if I add the first equation to the second equation, x's will go away. So just, just to know what I'm talking about, I'll call this equation 1, I'll call this equation 2, I'll call this equation 3. And let's do equation 1 plus equation 2 and see what I get. So I'm going to rewrite that first equation. It's not going to change. And I'm going to say one thing about this. I'm actually going to take that and then I'm going to replace it with equation 2. So that will go into the equation 2 spot. So if I add these together, um, x plus x is 0x. I wanted that to happen. Negative 2y plus 3 is y. So I'll, I'll write my y in here. All right, uh, 3z plus negative z is a 2z. And then 9 plus negative 6 is 3. Okay, so notice what I've done. I've combined these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. 
um, I haven't changed the values of x and y, so this is still the same y, but I've come up with another equation that doesn't have an x here. It has a 0x here. So basically, I've eliminated one of the variables in this system. And I want to do it again. I want to eliminate x again here because then I'll have a little 2 by 3 here that I can that I can deal with. So I notice that's a 2, a positive 2. So if I turn this into a 2x, I could go this equation 1 minus equation 3. In other words, I'm going to go 2 times equation 1. I'll write it up over here minus equation 3, and I'll put that into the equation 3 spot. So I'll do a little scratch work over here. So 2 times equation 1 looks like everything gets doubled. So 2x minus 4y uh, plus 6z equals 18. And I'm going to subtract equation 3. So equation 3 is 2x minus 5y plus 5z equals 17. And I want to subtract that. Right, I'm going to subtract that whole thing because um, I want to get rid of the x's. And so really, I'm going to take this negative and distribute it into there. So I'm just going to write that for myself so it's easy for me to remember. So negative, uh, negate that negative. It's a negative. That is a now negative 5x, and that's a negative 17. So if I add these together, or because I'm you know adding the negative, uh, 2x minus 2x is 0x. I wanted that to happen. Negative 4y plus 5y is y. Uh, 6z minus 5z is z. 18 minus 17 is 1. So again, if I think about technique here, um, I've made, I've manipulated it so that this is a 0x, this is a 0x. These are the same y values, same z values. So now I have a little 2 by 3 to solve, which we've been doing, right? So now I'm going to deal with this again to figure out what z is. So how about I just go this equation minus that equation to get rid of the y's. So equation 2 minus equation 3. And notice that gives me um, y minus y is 0. 2z minus z is z. 3 minus 1 is 2. And so if you notice what I've done, I've, um, I've manipulated the system. So now it looks like that system I had before. I'm going to have this take the place of equation 3, just for form, just so I can see it. So my first equation, I didn't change it. I used it to manipulate with, but I didn't really change it. My second equation, I manipulated it to get to this. And my third equation, I manipulated it to get to this. And now I can do what's called back solving. I know z is 2, so I'm going to plug that value into this equation. So uh, y plus 2z, well, z is 2, equals 3. Uh, y plus 4, sorry about that, equals 3, subtract 4. So y must equal negative 1. So I know but what both y and z are. I can plug those into here. Let's see, x minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 2 equals 9. So this is x plus 2 plus 6 equals 9, 6, 7, 8. x must be 1. So I could just write it this way, or I could write it as the ordered triple x, y, z. All right, let's take a peek at another one. So I have a similar situation. I've got this 3 by 4, 3 equations, 3 variables, and, and, and solutions. Um, and I want to clean this thing up. In other words, I want to get rid of some x's, and then I want to get rid of a y. Get it into this kind of staircase type shape so I can back solve for it. Now there's lots of things I can do. I think I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to juggle this around a little bit. Like it, it, thinking about getting rid of the x's, the 2's and the 3's, you know, I can multiply this one by 3, multiply this one by 2, and then subtract. Um, I think what I might do is I'm going to take this third equation and just make it into the first equation. In other words, you can change the order that these are written, not not the x, y's, and z's. I mean like the whole equation, because the whole equation is a thing. So it's still the same information if I just make move this one to the top. I haven't changed the relationships at all. Um, they're still just equations. 
All right, that just feels like an easier first step for me because then I can use this x to get rid of the 2x and get rid of the 3x a little more easily. So I think uh, the two things I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, 2 times equation 1 plus equation 2 and put that into the equation 2 spot. Oh, not plus, minus. Do you see how that will get rid of that x right there? And then if I want to get rid of this x right here, I'll go three times that first equation and subtract. So three times equation one minus equation three, that's gonna go into the equation three spot. So a little bit of scratch work to get these things done. I'll just scratch it out over here. So two times equation one, it's gonna look like uh, two X minus four Y plus six Z equals 12. Uh, if I subtract equation 2, I'm going to negate all of these. So minus 2x, minus y, plus 2z, right? Minus a negative, and that minus 1 would be minus negative 1, so plus 1. And then if I just add, I'm going to write this, rewrite equation 1 here, and equation 2, x's are gone, I wanted that to happen. Negative 4y minus y is negative 5y. 6z plus 2z is 8z, and 12, that was just a 1, plus 1 is 13. All right, so this uh, command or computation gave me this, and I'm going to do this one. So 3 times equation 1, let's see, that would be uh, 3x minus 6y plus 9z equals 18, and I'm going to subtract equation 3, so minus 3x minus negative 3y, so plus 3y, minus negative z, so plus z, minus 5. And if I combine these, three x's are gone. A negative 6y plus 3y is negative 3y. Uh, 9z plus z is 10z, 10z. And then 18 minus 5, um, that should give me a 13, yeah. All right, so I did all these steps. And I got to here. So I, I t I've taken this and I've changed it, manipulated it, so I have zeros here. So now if I want to keep going from here, boy, I got to get rid of this y. And I notice this is a negative 5y, this is a 3y. I can make each of them a 15 and then do some uh, subtraction maybe. So I think what I'll do is I'll go, um, how about I just go, negative 3 times equation 2, that'll make this a positive 15. And I'll add 5 times equation 3, that'll make this a uh, negative 15, and then they'll cancel out. And I'll put that into the equation 3 spot. So negative 3 times equation 2, uh, negative 15y, no, positive 15y, boop. Um, 8 times 3 is what, 24, negative 24z equals uh, negative 3 times 13, negative 39. Uh, 5 times equation 3, that's going to give me a negative 15y here. That's good. I wanted that to happen. That's going to be plus 50z. And then 13 times 5, 65, I do believe. Add those together. Y's go away. Uh, 50 minus 24 is uh, 26. 65 minus 39 is also 26. Hot dog. So z equals 1. And if z equals 1, I can plug it back into this equation. Uh, let's see. Subtract 8 from both sides. Negative 5y equals 5. So y equals negative 1. And if z equals 1, y equals negative 1. I can take those both and plug them into here. Uh, 2 times neg negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, so x plus so x equals 1. So there's my solution there. I can write it as the ordered triplet 1, negative 1, 1. Glorious. Let's dig into another problem. So I've got this uh, three equations, three variables, and let's get going. I'll start to cancel out y's. I'm going to go uh, equation 1 plus equation 2. And if I do that, x's are gone. 
Uh, negative 3y plus 2y is negative y. z minus 5z is minus 4z. And then 4 plus 3. All right, so there's that first one. Uh, if I want to get rid of this x, I'm going to say 5 times equation 1 minus equation 2. Uh, sorry, equation 3. And I'll put that into the equation 3 spot. And I'll scratch it out here. So 5 times equation 1, 5x minus 15y plus 5z, and 4 times 5 is 20. I want to subtract equation 3. I'm just going to negate them. So minus 5x minus a negative, so plus 13y minus 13z uh, minus 8 gives me... X is gone. Uh, negative 15y plus 13y is negative 2y. 5z minus 13z is negative 8z. And uh, 20 minus 8 is uh, 12. And I don't know why this is a z. <laughs> it should be something else. And if I go back, it was 4 plus 3. It should be a 7. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So I'm here. I've eliminated, minimized those um, those x's. So let me think about these y's. If this is a negative y and that's a 2y, how about I go negative 2 times equation 2 plus equation 3. Okay, that'll make that a positive 2. Those will eliminate out, put that into equation 3. And if I do that, let's see, negative 2a times equation 2 would give me a 2y. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, 8z. Negative 2 times 7 would give me a negative 14. And then I'm going to add this one to it, which is negative 2y minus 8z equals 12. And 0, 0, I get 0 on this side. All my, all my variables drop out. So something strange is afoot. Uh, and negative 14 plus 12 is negative 2. I get 0 equals negative 2. I get a false statement. I get a statement that's always false. Well, we know um, from before when that happened, we have an inconsistent system. There's no solution to this. Uh, so empty set, inconsistent. Okay, so if that happens, um, I know there's no solution. There's no XYZ triplet that solves this equation. There's no XYZ combination that makes all three of these equations true at the same time. So here is another one right here, and we've gone through a lot of steps to simplify it down. I'm going to um, trust you to get through those steps or maybe ask questions about it. If we did go through the steps, here's where we uh, would end up. We would uh, do a bunch of manipulation, and again, I'm just not doing it. I'm just showing you where we would end up. First row stays that it is. Uh, we did some work to eliminate here. 4z equals negative 17, and then we'd end up with 0 equals 0. So that was just through some cloud of work. So notice we ended up with um, one of our rows where the, the x and the y and the z are all eliminated, but we end up with a true statement. So that makes this a dependent system. So there must be some collection of points um, that works. That's a large collection, actually an infinite collection. So what we want to do now is think about the type. What types of um, solutions do we have for this? So it's typical for us to get these in terms of of x. You can get them in terms of x. You can get them in terms of of z. Either way. So what I want to know, what I want to say is, if my first term is x, what would my second term be? in terms of x. And what would my third term be in terms of x? So I'm going to go back to my original equation. I'm going to focus on these first two equations. I could choose whatever I want, but I'm going to get rid of y because if I get rid of y, um, then I could figure out what z is in terms of x. The other thing I could do is I could get rid of z and figure out what uh, y is in terms of x. I could go either route. I said I was going to get rid of y. It might be easier to get rid of z. So let me just add these together and see what happens. So equation 1 plus equation 2. 
uh, x plus x is four, uh, plus three x is four x. Y minus two y is negative y. Notice my z's drop out. Seven plus four is eleven. So if I want to know what y is in terms of x, how about uh oh, well that's pretty easy actually. Um, subtract four x from both sides. And since negative y is equal to that, if I multiply both sides by negative 1, y equals, uh, this would be like negative 11x plus 4, I'm sorry, negative 11 plus 4x, so I'll write that as 4x minus 11. So uh, if x is just x, y must be in the form 4x minus 11. Now that I know what y is in terms of x, I could just plug that into this y value and solve, and then solve this for, uh, for z. Or I could plug, uh, I could go back into here and eliminate y and do what I did here. And I think I'll just plug this into this equation. So y is 4x minus 11. So 5 times y plus 4z is 17. Okay, distribute that 5 into there. Uh, add 55 to both sides. My goal right now is to get z all alone. Subtract that 20x. Divide everything by 4. Negative 5x. Uh, 20 divided by 4. 72 divided by 4. 18. So that takes me back up to here. Tells me that when... Uh, z in terms of x is negative 5x plus 18. So notice my solution is an infinite group. Whatever x value you tell me, I can tell you the y value and I can tell you the z value. Like if x is 0, it'd be negative 11, y would be negative 11, z would be 18. So that would be one point that works in here. When x is 1, plug in those values. That's another point that works in here. Infinite number of points that work in here. All right. These take practice, so take your time, do the practice problems, ask questions, and uh, remember you can message me or uh, post them in the forum.